just bundled into the back of the net to make it one nil to Gaza Chiefs. So the gentlemen in studio will once again will take out their pencils and everything else to have a look at this particular one. A mistake! Offside. Offside. Usu to save their blushes, Manyama thought he had just scored his goal. Lebo Manyama. Marisburg United hosted Chipper United on Friday night looking to get their first half Premiership victory of the season. The hosts got off to a bright start and were awarded a penalty 18 minutes into the encounter after Tamkoli Sukunena was brought down inside the box. Jeremy Brookie could have opened the scoring, but his spot kick was saved by shot stopper Patrick Tinyem. A minute and a half later, it was poor defending from Marisburg United and William Twala alongside Kurt Lenkis almost had a shot at goal, but it wasn't meant to be. On the 26th minute, it was once again a Chippa United's Patrick Tingham who came to the rescue with a great save. The deadlock was finally broken minutes before the break thanks to a brilliant strike by Tabiso Kutumel. The team of choice held on to their lead, which gave them their first three points of the campaign. The difference between Stellenbosch, Amazuru and Chipa, the number of draws they've recorded so far this season. Three points, two points and four points for those teams uh, I've just mentioned. So other teams have all won at least a game. Spotted this time around and stopped in his track here. Now it's an early ball here, he's onside, looking for a chance. Maxim Tizo makes it one nil. They were put nothing at the back and they find the back of the net. Look at Mobi. No prisoner. Chance in Mutizo. And Mutizo scored his second goal of the afternoon. Another break, another Mutizo moment, and then the young beats him for the second time today. Oh my, I gotta say. Once again, he planned to play speaking pass. Play between the two central ferry. They are slightly slow, and the young is not happy at all. He's not getting any protection. Any ball from Ruben Johannes now onside. Here they are into the penalty area. Looking for Joe! Gives it home! Two on the score line, a run being made by Reynolds. And Reynolds has found the back of the net. Kutuzo Spear, the fed has gone off for Coronaros in the second half of this game. Goalkeeper coming out. And, and Moon equalizes. Harai Pomarumo and Christopher Bongo spoke about the area of prowess. What sort of problems you bring to the team coming off the bench, Ryan Moon? Orlando Pirates were looking to collect maximum points against Cape Town City in their Absa Premiership clash at Orlando Stadium on Saturday afternoon. The citizens got off to a perfect start as Tabo Nodada gave his side the lead in the sixth minute. <laughs> Committee Rasmus doubled the lead two minutes later with a strike past the keeper following a through ball from Fagwili K. Orlando Pirates pulled a goal back in the 23rd minute. Thanks to Captain Happy Jele with a long range shot that was deflected. The host found the equalizer just before the break as Tirofasa Mabasa continued his fine form.
Gareth piled on the pressure after the half-time break and banged in the third goal thanks to Alfred Ndengani, who nodded home Gabelo Damini's cross. Citizens then leveled matters with five minutes remaining courtesy of substitute Shane Roberts. In the end, neither side could find the winning goal and were forced to settle for the share of the spoils. Kazachis made it two wins in four days when they defeated Baraka FC by a goal to nil in their APSA Premiership clash at the FMB Stadium. Amakos were forced to make changes to their lineup following Samir Nukovic's head injury during Tuesday's victory against Amazulu. It was a high tempo game from start to finish, with both sides having plenty of chances. The host broke the deadlock five minutes before the halftime break as Leboja Manyama netted his third goal of the season with a close range finish. Manyama's goal was enough to hand Kaza Chiefs all three points, moving them to the top of the standings with 16 points. Supersport United were looking to return to winning ways when they hosted rock bottom Amazulu at Lucas Muribe Stadium. The host were awarded a penalty for a handball by Amazulu, and Obri Mudiba wasted no time, calmly slotting into the back of the net. That proved to be the only goal on the day as Supersport held on to clinch the three points. Black Leopards registered their first home victory of the AFSA Premiership season after edging out Bloemfontein Celtic 1-0 at the Toyando Stadium. It was the home side who got the breakthrough just after nine minutes when Mwabe Musonda fired home from close range to open his scoring account of the season. Leopards continued to dominate play, but were let down by their finishing as Musonda squandered a couple of big chances midway through the half. The visitors threw bodies forward in search of an equalizer, but struggled to find the way past Jonas Mendes, who produced a couple of fine saves. Leopards held on for the three points and moved to 12th on the standings, while Celtic remained on the ninth spot. Highlands Park looked to maintain its winning streak when it hosted Polokwane City at the Mahulong Stadium. The Lions of the North have not lost a match across all competitions since going down 3-2 to Kaza Chiefs in the league opener. Highlands took the lead in the 22nd minute thanks to a wonderful finish by Ntobi Mvala. Highlands Park did not sit on their laurels and look to extend their lead. However, Josh Chukova was on hand to make a fine save. Peter Shalulila put the icing on the cake in stoppage time when he won the ball back in midfield and skipped past the last defender before bearing the ball into the back of the net. Oh, 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 oh. Excitement. Uh, that was that were the uh, results as far as the weekend the Apsa Premiership were concerned. And if you look at it, Juran Francis, uh, Chipper United, he was uh, sent packing after uh, Maritzburg United uh, getting the victory there. We'll also talk a little bit later on about Jeremy Brocky on debut for uh, Maritzburg United. He missed the penalty, so that needs to come under scrutiny. Uh, Pirates in Cape Town City, there were three changes on either side there. Mubara was out, Sidat was out, Noradin was out. Uh, then you had Mulanga missing, Ndlobu missing, and Ndengani coming in there for Nyawuza, who was missing for Pirates with some of the changes that took place there. Nurkovic missed the game for Kaiser Chiefs, uh, but uh, he was replaced by uh, Kambule. Looking at the bottom of the table, though, it still doesn't make good reading for Amazulu. Chippa United, you can understand why they want to move away from there. Stellenbosch, brilliant with a comeback from 2-0 down. Then the showboating began for uh, uh, Golden Arrows. And then that is when Golden Arrow's wheels fell apart and Stellenbosch were able to come back into it. I know they're going to complain here in the studio and say showboating. It's not show, it was showboating. Skill. It was showboating. Oh, yeah. Not skill. Showboating. There's the top of the table and Kaiser Chiefs sitting on top there. The only interesting thing is with Q1, you still have to look at Bitvest Bits there and say, Bits have two games in hand. Yeah, two games in end. If they get all uh, three points in those games, it means they'll go to 18, Thomas. And that, that would put them uh, to the uh, top of the log as it was uh, to stand at this p 
particular time. So still too early to be crowning Q1 champions uh, with Bidvest Bid still lurking there, as well as Mamelodi Sundowns as well lurking with a couple of games in hand. Those two teams were in action in terms of CAF, uh, and that's why they are that extra game behind. However, let's get straight into the talking uh, points and start out with the uh, offsides decisions. Tuesday, Chiefs up against Amazulu. This was what everybody was talking about. Starting first and foremost here, Karuru is their man, judged off sides as uh, he finds the net. What do you think? Definitely an offside. Good decision. At the time the ball is played, Karuru in front of the deal of the Chiefs defenders, the assistant got it right. There's Marvin van Veik, the assistant referee, puts the flag up. Let's confirm again as uh, that uh, ball is played. I'm pretty comfortable with offside here. Yeah, is it very clear? It's tight. But it's enough. And when it's tight, what does the rule say? No, uh, but please, nah, yeah, but, no, no, but I'm saying it's for your time. Like, hey, this one, I'm comfortable. Yeah. I'm comfortable. Yeah, you say it's it's offside. offside. I'm comfortable to say thing. offside. Okay, I'm, I'm I ask, know it's I'm, tight. I'm asking a question. If it's tight, yeah, it's, what it's, must it's, the assistant no, it's ref do? It's definitely tight. It's definitely tight. Yeah, if it's tight, what must the assistant do? But he saw an offside, and there's possibly one that exists. Let's move on to the next one because that one, two against one, we're saying that I just wanted to get the rules. That's all. Then. Ntuli gives it away here, and the ball is played into the space there. Ntuli finishes. 1-0 Amazul. Sure. With this one, there's no offside here. Yeah. It's 1-0 Amazul. Mr. Van Veik puts the flag Mr. up. Mr. Van Veik gets it wrong here. It, it, Let's it's 1-0 Amazulu. Let's I look. want you to look at my tall's left foot. There's He's the playing ball. Ntuli. And let's not forget, the man that touches the ball is Ntuli. The feathers green shirt does not interfere with play and mm -hmm. does not touch the ball. Hence, I'm saying... This is an onside uh, goal. It should have stood, Thomas. Yeah. Why not in Gale? Hold the goal. He goal. Yeah, he goal for Amazulu. So it's confirmed. Confirmed. Poor decision. Yeah. This one deserved Amazulu to be 1 0 up. The whole game changes. Ndulu says no, Mr. Ref. Mr. Ref says it is the case. So we've confirmed it. One. Good decision. Other one, not so good. Let's go on to, uh, it was a game that had quite a bit of involvement from the coaches. It was a passionate encounter. It was a public holiday, heritage day. And then, if you want to silence two coaches, this is what you do. You hand out the yellow cards. Yeah. Because after this, yeah. Ernst Mirandop was fuming. Yeah, it's a bad tackle. I mean, we can understand how unhappy it is. Gets a yellow card. Co and now coaches get yellow cards. Yeah, my coach, I have to you, Thomas. But again, we need to educate you. Yellow card at times. Urever maga puka u coacher. Aga puka u coacher from if someone is injured, angasho something that it's not right. They can book a coach instead of because maga maga has to ban lawyer. Yeah. They'll end up booking the coach. So coach needs to maintain to maintain and make sure we take no pressure. A injured from u to ban pressure as urever. Did the two coaches say another word the entire match? Aye. Thomas, if any coach said a word and the fourth official heard it. He goes to the bench and gives a, yellow, a second yellow, which means the coach would walk. Now, what Schizo is saying is, if the physio, the doctor, complains and they don't see who's... If you can't identify who you can't are. identify, yeah. then they go to the coach and book the coach because he's supposed to manage the technical team. Mm. But it was dead silent after that. The referee got complete control of the two benches after those yellow cards. And you can expect to see that happening a lot more this season. Let's move on to Maritzburg United and Chipa. Now, Brocky comes into the uh, starting lineup, his first game for his new club after having left Mami Lodi Sundowns. And he gets the opportunity reasonably early on when they point to the penalty spot. Let's start out here with um, Kolisi Kunene getting in the box. Rachale, penalty or not? Penalty. Kunene was very clever. Get into the, the front space, Saga, saga Rachale. Kony contact, la, ibon wena. Ibon contact. Thomas, yeah. we spoke about this. Ian's way, Ian's again last week against Golden Arrows. Similar situation, now contacting a left. The left knee. The left knee of Rahale touches Kunene from the back, and that touch causes Kunene to fall down. Penalty. <coughs> netball, yeah. It's, it's, it's a foul in, in the La. penalty area. Yeah. Marinet, but this is not netball where you can't touch anybody. This like small touch like that. Boxing, he contact, just a net. Tura contact, on Balala. And Tetra then, Brocky. First game, he can score on debut. Tignem. He needs to see a psychologist to broke him. The, what? The, the confidence is down, mental strength not there. Uh, Thomas, you could see uh, even when you are standing there. Some players, they are standing there, they are focused. He's mm -hmm. standing there because he's doubting yeah. which side must he go. But let's not mistake, when, when they substitute here, let's look at the time, there's 19 minutes left. 
it means that Eric Tinkler was making a tactical change, taking out a striker for a, for, for a defender. Yeah, key, yeah. He was locking the gates. Uh, but locking the gates at the same time, he was saving Uproke from the booze. Already, my friend, I'm shilling a pump, so he felt good. There's no way. But he is rusty, Brocky. I mean, he only played, started nine games last season, got one goal. Then he's missed a chunk of this season already, yeah. starts this first game. Talk, there is rust. About that he's going to come right. Yeah, sure, no. He oh, scored oh, a word oh, in the oh, 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 No, he scored oh, one in okay. the Premiership last season <laughs> and only started nine games. Move on to uh, Kunene because he was the man of the match. And Kunene was absolutely superb here. And it's interesting, though, that Eric Tinkler hasn't used him all season. If you look at the performance, this is just the second start for Golisi Kunene, and he was everything in the engine room. I understand why Eric Tinkler doesn't use him at times. Thomas Kunene needs to be consistent. He's, I think he's the only out and out left left footer that they have in terms of playing on the on the white areas. Take a look again yeah, but here. Consistency needs That's to come him in. crossing the ball. I ends the game. I shall five games. I ends Net Kutumela. Yes, he was dangerous beyond belief. Everything yeah. that. Mkoli si Kunene did easy. ended up in something good. The penalty was Kunene going down in the box. The cross for the goal, it's Kunene. I want peace. The other thing, uh, Thomas, being a, a, a versatile player, utility Look at player, the shot here. He, he's he's Ta, going Kunene. on the wide area, having that shot when it's brought back. Uh, Kutumela should be doing better. But the problem is there, Thomas. If, if you're not a specialist, Thomas, it's very hard for you to find a starting place. And with, with Kunene, yes, very versatile uti utility player for them. He can play at left back. He can play as a left winger. He can mm. also play inside midfield on the left. So he's not a specialist of any position. That's why Tinkler is using him sparingly. I'm going to stay with you because Orlando Pirates Cape Town City turned into a classic. 3-3 here. And there are a lot of things that need to be unpacked. Starting first and foremost with how it was in the early stages of the match that... Cape Town City were able to get into that 2-0 advantage and unpack how it was that that Pirates defence was so easily breached. Obviously, we stated that Ndengane was one of the changes that came into the starting lineup. Mm. He was not there in the previous game. The cohesion and the understanding between him and Epijele is crucial because mm. once Epijele or Ndengane steps up, the, the rest of the back four needs to, to, to step up. And this is where they, they, they didn't step up. Look and at the time on the clock. It's, it's the first uh, 10 minutes of the game. Yeah. Uh, Understanding. Then. Look at Ndengani. Ndengani steps up. Look at Epijele. Okay, he's, early, he's late in stepping up because by the time he steps up, Erasmus is clearly in an onside position and he makes that uh, uh, run, the bucket run, brilliantly. Mayela is the man that closes the offside in this instance. He composes himself and he scores the goal and he says, I'm not going to celebrate because I made my name here at Orlando Pirates. But the understanding of the back four, Thomas, is the problem uh, at Orlando Pirates. I love the Then he steps up. The APGL steps up, but Mayela is caught putting Erasmus onside in that situation. So the understanding, the group defending with the back four is not there yet. Five goals in five games for Erasmus, and there are the problems with that Pirates defense constantly being tweaked, constantly being changed, mm -hmm. and the cohesion isn't there. Now, look at this man here, because Gabelo Zamini was brilliant. That's the pass that he gives to uh, uh, Mabasa. Mm -hmm. I think we've seen a combination here with Celtics. Uh, but one thing, Celtics, Celtics, they use them as a winger. But Gu Paris, that's where he plays this, the position like a natural. It's his swing. Inside, creative midfielder. He's an advance look at of, that. Look at him advance of attack. He yeah, link up, he play. But look at the pass. Mm. Good pass. And Umabasa didn't have so much to do with that in the situation. He easily access. He finally did, Thomas. He breaks the line very well. Gabriel Zamini getting two assists. That's him taking the corner. That's him getting the ball back. That's him crossing. Creating a different angle for Orlando Pirates in the far post, bringing in that quality cross, Denga and meeting it at the highest point and making sure that he gives Orlando Pirates the lead. That's the, the, the short corner. They are doing that short corner to change the angle, Thomas. And when you change the angle, if Cape Town City doesn't step up, it gives Denga an opportunity to then attack that ball. Kabela Zamini doing well, Thomas. And also, let's also highlight, Pirates are playing with a diamond in midfield, wanting to use Mayela, wanting to, to use Munyani as fullbacks that are going up. So it suits uh, uh, Zamini's game. Now, Dr. Hey. Nandi was complaining at the top of the show when uh, uh, Nodata scored that thunderbolt over Joris Dele. And he was not sure that, you know, maybe Joris Dele isn't doing a good job at Orlando Pirates. Let's confirm the good job. Here, Makola unleashes one. Dele. 3-0, Thomas. If that goes in, it's 3-0. Ah, Look at the score. Look at the time. Joris Dele coming up with a big save as Makola tries to score against his former team. Full stretch. I'm jumping in the post in my engine's in. Because I, I don't... For me... Okay. Then here, Nakei, one-on-one, on one. safe. I'm a state of team. 
I hit me in the save. I must take that team. If that goes in, it's 4 0. 4 0. No, but, but I must take that team. How many he goals did he save the team? Save the team. Look here. Yeah. They considered three goals. This is Pirates, Baba. And how many did he save? Ah, but Thomas, come on, man. What was the final score? Last time, no, two. Natural goalkeeper is a top keeper. Because Jala, you better own get a team. Jala, but call it. Yeah, but under 21. I call him a page. France, but under 21. Fair Nord. Fair Nord. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, these are the performances that balance is good to be a fair. I'm a Rubam Shang. I'm a lightning. Lightning. I'm a Tatin Tonasika. I'm a Shela Kuzabo. Nagring. Nagring applying. Okay, Pirates feel that they deserved a penalty at the end of this game. Let's uh, look at that and see what the decision is. And then we'll hear what the coaches thought as well. That's going to be interesting. But here we look. Munyani and Kawuti are involved in the box here. Referee says nothing wrong. Thomas, one key thing is um, who gets to the ball. No, uh, uh, Munyani gets to the ball. Uh, Kuwiti does not get to the ball. He gets the man. So he fouls uh, Munyani in the box. So the foul inside yellow the box card. is the yellow card. Uchele uti marai marai maska cholanga le refa ngi asazu tsiyo chola yi. Thomas, they, let's look again in slow motion. Okay. Yeah. Munyani gets, gets to the ball. Oh, Munyani gets to the ball. But you you Uda does he get to the ball? Does he play the ball, Munyani? No, the reason he plays yola, the ball. Let me tell does you Kawiti thing. play the ball? The no. reason Afagin Yola He knew which Kawiti is going to kick him. But he, did he get to he the ball? Contact he con. Did yeah, he get to the ball? Le contact, le le contact le 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 Just now you were telling us how clever, how clever it was that Kunene got in front yeah. of Rakhale and yeah. forced a touch yeah. penalty. La, it's not clever anymore. For me, it's clever. It's clever. For me, it's clever. Does Kawiti get to the balls? Let's say, I cover. I'm a defender. 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 I'm a Ah, it's impossible. Ah, darling, ah, darling. ah, it's impossible. Let's see what the coaches had to say, because they did react to this. <laughs> and the reactions were kind of like here in the studio, either side of the fence. And uh, we should have won the match. We should have won the match. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we need VAR. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone sees it for themselves. I don't have to comment about it. Everybody sees it, unfortunately. My player is clearing the ball if you put your foot in front there. Eh? To block you, he's obstructing. So, no penalty. The referee made a bold decision, but I think, yeah. Yes, but. Rafa Bakala gave you a Rafa Bati. I obvious. Benny says, My player is clearing the ball. Did the player get to the ball? Benny Makat. He doesn't. He say, Benny says this player is clearing the ball. Did this player get to the ball? No, he didn't touch the ball. South I'm Africa, different. we need your help on this I'm one different. at Soccer Zone for sure. Tell us what your opinion on it is. It is draw in the studio in terms of whether it's a penalty or not but i'm pretty sure i would have pointed to the spot there as well with the penalty however mine is not the opinion th that uh, counts now with uh, arrows and stellenbosch this game ryan moon comes on look at the score line 2-0 to uh, uh, golden arrows then they come back after bringing in the big man what difference did he make he brings the physicality into the box thomas you are able to play a long ball to him He's, he's very deadly when it comes to aerial balls. We, we remember him from his days at Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. Anything floated into the box, he will meet it at the highest point and, and convert. And in this instance, getting his first goal for Stelis, there was no danger there. But his ability to, to then get that leap mm. and, 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 and beat the goalkeeper, that changes the whole game. He's, you, when he's there on the field, you are able to play those long balls because he holds the ball up well. They snatched the draw. Ryan Moon was instrumental. The change of focus, having the big man, throwing the balls up front. However, Steve Barker, coach of Stellenbosch, said that one of the things that motivated his team was this. It's 2-0, first half, and then you start to see Guti Arozi, Yachaiva, Chaiva, Sogum Nandi, Seisugi, Lecho, Vicho. Even Steve Compella, post-match in his interview, said, I told my boys in the change room to not relax. Stellenbosch will come back. Isuswa Umakubela, le relaxation. Ngale zinte ziso. Yeah, we'll stop for Umakubela, but the essence... Wait, wait, wait. Timu educated. The reason I end the lento le. Tune it up. Critical phase of the game. See, I go half time. We keeping possession. Maulu Bamba, longer. Let me tell you one thing. Lendo Kufagi defender Ukiya Makins. There is a foul. Can be made if the teams keep possession. Maulu Bamba so. Aliki Beraka so. Reynas is frustrated. Reynas is frustrated Thomas. because he feels Thomas, essentially please. maybe Thomas. there's a little bit of disrespect let's, coming in. Let's, let's just apply the rules. The rules say 
do you have any intent of playing the ball with Reynas? The answer is no. He clearly kicks Umakubela, who does not even have ball position. That's mm. a straight red card. Mm. He should be in the change room early. Can I tell you one thing that is going to... Because I want to get back to the showboating. Boy. No, no, no. Let me make a point Come here. Back. This is going to be oh. defeat all of you. Sundowns against the team from Seychelles. Yeah. Right? There was not one moment of showboating in a 16-1 victory. Thomas, because Sundowns Thomas, went about the business of scoring there. goals let's after just, goals let's after just goals. Apply, it let's just apply wait, the let rules. Me no, let's apply the rules. It wasn't 2-0 and then we started Thomas, to showboat. Let's apply the rules. You play the men with no intention to play the ball. Well, no, you're not it's focusing on the right thing. I'm talking no, about the no, show no, 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 Thomas. The card. showboating. Fine, there was a foul because of the disrespect and that was there. Card. But Sundowns showed us the way. Hammer. Hammer, 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 hit more goals. Then you don't have a 2-0 two, two sun, being a 2-2. Two, two. Sundowns needed more goals. But it's how you keep you want to keep Professionalism. Position. Professionalism. Yes. Yeah, what are those terms? Hammer, hammer, terms hammer, 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 hammer. So hammer. team professionalism was fun. Yeah. Hammer. Let's move on to Itumil and Kune. Because uh, when we look at uh, how it was that Kune was uh, taken off the field just 20-something minutes into the game, this will be concerning at Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, they were hoping that he'd come back. And he was instrumental in the opening moments of the game here because if you look at this, what a stop from Kune. You're always going to get performances like this from Kune. But my worry is becoming injury prone. Maybe it's a question of fitness, but I feel good. The Chiefs need him. Yes, I've, I've seen Akpe did well in this game, even got medical. But I really think Kune needs to get his act right in terms of him getting fitter because this kind of elbow hamstring. They come from not being fit. Let's watch here. Yeah. This is the moment that we think the injury happened. Kune is fine. The free kick gets taken. And then that little run there. Then he pulls up. That little run and he says, I, yeah. I, mm -mm, I'm not okay. Thomas, I agree with you. But I think it comes from earlier on. When he makes that one-on-one -on -one save against Mbuli, obviously he uses his, his left foot to be able to block that ball. But at that time, it's just a twitch. Mm. It, 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 there's nothing serious there. But as soon as he wants to go to that ball after that clearance, that's when he felt that, no, my hamstring is, is, is not the tightness anymore. I think the hamstring is going. And Ak that's when he sat down. Akpe comes on, man of the match. So yeah. there's depth in he, the goalkeeping he department. To, he had to. Would he, I'll give him man of the match performance. Obviously, you know I'm offensive chief. They've been on his back with the mistake, the, the errors that he has created in the previous games. Mm. But again, this performance, let's move on to whether the goal that Kaiser Chiefs scored in this game should have stood. Kama Biliat pass to Kambole. Thomas, nothing against Amakos. We're just applying the rules here. Ukambole is in an offside position and this goal should have not stood because we'll show it in a different angle when Kamapila plays the ball, Thomas. Stop. Look, at the, look at the line. Let's just go forward a little bit. Let's just go no, forward no, a Look at the line. Bit. Even before the ball... To when the ball is played. We just want to get to when the ball is actually played. Even, even in, this, in this picture, Thomas, he's there, already in an played. offside position. Now, look at the line. Look at the distance between the, the line. Kambole is... Nearly touching the line already. Yes. But you look wow. at, the, uh, at the last defender for Barroca, the gap is, is bigger. Kambole was in an offside position. This goal should have not hey, stood. Good Chiefs, they are playing my rules. Hey. Ah, but hey, you too. Hey, since ah. this is Kali Lange, Chiefs, they are playing my rules. Hey, look at my rules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. No, Maringa, I have to defend you. Offside. Offside. Nah, okay, uh, when? Uh, are you, are you, are, saying no, 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 say it again. Okay, say, it, say, it, say it again. What is, is that? No, but yeah. what is that? Offside. Okay, just but that's what we need to hear. That's why rules, rules, rules. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you. Now, Baroka were sensational in this game. There were moments where they were completely unplayable. And they also were just unbelievably, desperately unlucky. Look at what happened here in terms of the uh, moments where they felt they should have scored. Free kick, death of the moment. Look at the lateness of this. This would have been one of the great comebacks. Piri. Hey, Gerald Piri, one Ooh. of the gifted left footers in the PSL. When it comes to set plays, uh, Thomas is a specialist. He does not go for power. He always applies the in-step technique. In this instance, very unlikely not to get the goal for Barroca, but well taken. You could see Akpe, he was not going to get there. He was beaten there. Unlikely for Barroca not to, to grab a point. Tell one and of the best what? And you'd think that that was the Educated last moment. Left but look again, 94th minute. They just hit the post in the 92nd minute. And then, there again, Ka. Almost get, got punished. Concentration time. Critical phase of the game, they needed obviously to maintain and manage the game very well. But 
allowing Baraka to get into that position, mm. likely not to be punished. Yeah, Baraka will have felt like at least one of those maybe should have gone in. Maybe they should have got something out of the game. And if you listen to these men here, the goal the Chiefs scored also coming from an offside position. Plenty of controversy in that one. And then moving on to Super Sport <coughs> United up against Amazulu. A penalty awarded here, but on this occasion, perfect decision or not? Thomas, Dalang apply our rules. I think you may get our apply. So let's look at it. Skakani, no doubt it's a handball. Definitely handball, but Skakani is outside the box. Is he outside there? Yes. Let's just go back. Can we just go back? Ulenda one? inside the box is outside the box. Let's just He's take another look at this when this hits the arm. When this hits the box. line, big line, you know what? See, no, it's you say he's outside the box. Oh, come on, Thomas. So that should have been a free kick on the edge. Come, Nandi Gavi. Oh, the referee points to the spot. That's a difficult decision to make as well. I mean, that happens so quickly. Yeah. It happens so quickly. Supersport gets the penalty. They get the three points. But it was clearly uh, when Uskakane touches the ball, Oof. he's outside uh, uh, the well, penalty. Well, I'm not so area. sure about clearly, but it, no, but it could be. Too much. Free kick, Leo. See penalty. The referee points to the spot. Mudiba says, thank you very much. Supersport, take all the points there. But yeah, that's something that I think was missed by uh, everyone on Saturday when I was watching the game there. No one really commenting on whether the ball uh, was actually in the box. Well spotted, guys. Well thank spotted you, there. You, and then, moving on to uh, Leopards versus Celtic. There was a new coach. And the new coach wasn't sitting on the bench. His work permit isn't there yet. Luke Amal is sitting on the bench there. And... He's involved. He's, he's surrounded you, 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 by uh, Leopard's no, officials. He's, he's listening to music on your uh, 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 okay, music, 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 <laughs> music, <laughs> yeah, but he's uh, listening. I was we don't have to look at those. No, I mean, I get to my music. We are going to get the stadium, so that's why I coach me my music. But I can tell you, I have no music. No, but he was there and he wasn't coaching. That's what I see. He's in the stands, he's yeah. not on the bench, and there's no way to prove whether he was doing anything that was going to influence the game. But Luke Amal's influence from up there brings Leopards their first victory of the season as well. So that's the situation with that. We're going to a quick break. We'll be back after this. Celebration party with us on 11 and 12 October, featuring international guest DJ Tujamo, as well as your favorite Five FM and local DJs. Plus, join Mass DC in Johannesburg. Tickets available through 5FM.coza. Friday, 11 October at Shimmy Beach in Cape Town. Saturday, 12 October at Balbon Country Estate in Johannesburg. Party to the power of five. I took a walk on my own path. I challenged the world. That fire inside me said, go on in, live a lot. Less talk, more walk. I took a walk. Keep walking. Not for persons under the age of 18. Wow. Amazing. But wait, there's more. I am Pelelang of Upper Bay. Yo! Wow, wow! Your career cannot die before it starts and you are naked. Then you come back dressed like that. I was not ready. Yeah, there! Ulum Gagawe, now we're bringing it to you hot and steamy. As for the one on the city. What's your father's? What can we say? Is it? Oh, yes, what you? Beautiful. We spill all the tea and throw some shade. 
on RGB Saturdays at 7:30 only on SABC One. Mzansi for show. It's Kaiser Chiefs versus Mami Lodi Sundowns in the Shell Helix Ultra Cup. SMS 52020. Tell us why you love your team and you could stand a chance to win two double tickets to experience the ultra performance between the North and the South on the 12th of October. Shell Helix Ultra Cup. There can only be one. We're going quickly now to the Glad Africa Championship where there was plenty going on, including a massive surprise as Morocco Swallows get their first victory of the season. Round six of the Glad Africa Championship got underway this weekend with log leaders JDR Stars maintaining their spot at the top of the standings. The log leaders were forced to settle for a point after playing to a goalless draw against TS Sporting. In an exciting Mother City derby, Cape Umoya fought back from a goal down to overpower Stenberg 2-1 at the Athlone Stadium. Ice Cape Town grabbed all the three points against the Royal Eagles with a 2-1 win at home. The Eagles took the lead by Angani Somoyo's free kick before Tabo Musadi leveled matters. Elazar Rogers scored the winning goal to hand Ajax all the points on offer. The victory moved Ajax to third on the standings, while the Eagles slumped to the bottom of the log with two points. Elsewhere, Utongati suffered a surprise 3 0 defeat at the hands of Free State Stars, while Mbomela United played to a goalless draw against Chakuma Chamatsubandira. The match between Real Kings and the University of Pretoria ended in a thrilling 3 0 draw following a great fight back from Amatax. The Real Kings are now ninth on the standings, while Amatax sit comfortably in fifth spot. Sunday's other results saw Jomo Cosmos suffer their second successive loss after they were defeated 1 0 by Richards Bay. And here I am, just before this, I was excited to tell you Morocco Swallows uh, was uh, a victor. When I actually made Free State Stars, I don't know what was going through my mind there. It's Free State Stars who get their first win of the season. What a shock victory there against Inform Otongati. Elazar Rogers uh, getting three goals uh, this season, and he's on form for Ajax. And then, well, TTM were down to 10 players, but they still managed to hang on for the draw and uh, get that against Mbombella. There's the log table for you, Royal Eagles. Oh, that makes disappointing reading for them there. Just two points for Royal Eagles so far as they sit at the bottom of the table. JDR Stars still on top and flying, but Ajax are coming. Otongati will think to themselves, what happened? Free State Stars just surprise us at home with a 3-0 victory. That's the Glad Africa Championship. We're going to a quick break. After the break, the SAFA Women's National League is coming your way. Some great football, as always, from our ladies. <laughs> When it's game time, we all feel the pressure. That's why we trust Shield Antiperspirant to never let us down. It gives us the best 48 hour protection when the pressure is on. Shield gives us the confidence to always perform at our best. Shield, it won't let Chelsea down, it won't let you down. Introducing new Invisible Black Plus White Fresh and new Invisible Black Plus White Germ Defense for men. These are the people who make Double Mellowed Gentleman Jack. Cultured. Refined. Just kidding. They're the same folks who make old number seven. They simply take the time to mellow it twice. Gentleman Jack. Double Mellowed. Extra smooth. Enjoy responsibly. Not for sale to persons under the age of 18. Today I'm interviewing my beautiful mom about cleaning. Mom? For my countertops, I use new Jig Cleanup. What's new about it? It's a convenient mix of bleach and cleaner that kills 99.9% .9 of germs and powers through grease and dirt. So for the tables, just jig it. Floors? Just jig it. And for the bathroom? I get it. Just jig it. But what are those for? Jig, jig. New Jig Cleanup. Just jig it. Sundays at 6, only on SABC One. Zanti for show.
it's rock. I am. Are you? Let's do it. Musical experience. Tune into Live Amp every Friday at half for seven, right here on SABC One. As we are celebrating Heritage Month as a rainbow nation, South Africa. Sitata leli tuba ogu kopa ogu shuga na kwetu moguama seko. Stories from the Tukasiko. Herinner ons wie ons is en gee ons een blik op die toekomst. Embracing our journey as one nation. SABC celebrates Heritage Month. Good afternoon and welcome to Sakani Stadium. It is uh, the Safa National Women's League. Uh, that is the last match of this weekend. When we sundowns up against Tsunami Queens. So far, we have three goals scored today. One nil victory for UJ as they got their first win of uh, this year's. Uh, this uh, particular league and also we saw a 2 nil victory not so long ago where TUT won their game against Richmond ladies <laughs> yes out of a field ball collected by <laughs> and now sending this one forward this time around and there we have a very early goal being scored already so I tell you <laughs> sundowns already in the first minute and a half of this game have opened the scoring one nil the score line in favor of Sundowns. Long ball played into the penalty area, knocked down again, collected by Tsunami Queens ladies. Short coming in, a penalty has been given. Sebabato Malope, the referee making sure nobody encroaches. Yes, he stepped forward, Lutet, and this one into the back of the net. 1 1 the score line, Tsunami Queens have found the back of the net. A fold, a young lady from Pumulong in Tembisa. The daughter of former great at Joma Cosmos, Jabulani Tusi. The father played the football there. Yes, they're waiting now. Chance now for Tusi in a penalty area. Into the back of the net. She's only been on the field of play for less than four minutes and she has found the back of the net. So there it is. Celtic with the big tree. Then, when you look at uh, what happened between the University of Johannesburg and Golden Ladies, that's a nice way for UJ to start getting on track. They were sitting on the wrong end of the table, but with that victory, surely movement away from the very foot of the table. There it is. They've now got their first three points of the season, have UJ. That's how it looks at the bottom of the Safa National Women's League. And at the very top, well, they have been there since day one. Will anyone topple them? Mami Lodi Sundowns uh, are still there, but the chasing pack, and both you gentlemen were there, can they be caught? Are there other teams in this league that can give them a race for their money at the end of the day? TUT is stronger, Celtic is stronger, Col City might delay, mm. but I think the, the fight is going to be between Sundowns, TUT and, and, and Celtic. Mm. Yeah, boom. yeah, I agree with uh, TUT and Mami Lodi Sundowns going all the way, because when we look at the top goal scorers, uh, Yilda Mohaya, She's on six goals. She's mm. the top goal scorer, followed by uh, uh, Dawiti at Mamelo Sanders with the five goals. So it's, the competition is there between the teams and even individual players. All right, so we're going to a quick break. After the break, look out for this, Mumish. Some unorthodox refereeing in a week where refereeing came under the microscope. I think you'll like this, Mumish. Stay with us. <laughs> Ultimate protection when you move. Shield, it won't let you down. Good morning, Joburg. Are you ready to see something amazing? You? Yes, you, Sissy. Please, won't you come up here for a minute? What have you bought today? Very nice. But what if it gets steamed? Uh -huh. Chocolate. A little bit of wine. Let me add some ink. Now, let's really iron those stains uh -huh. in. Should we try bleaching? That's right. The label will tell you you must never use bleach on colors, but vanishes bleach free. It gets rid of the toughest stains and protects colors. With three times more benefits than bleach, vanish won't damage your fabrics. See, vanish has removed the stain. This is new again. Vanish, three times more effective than bleach. Thank you, Johannesburg. Vanish, trust me, forget stains. These are the people who make double-mellowed Gentleman Jack. Cultured, 
refined. Just kidding. They're the same folks who make old number seven. They simply take the time to mellow it twice. Gentleman Jack, double mellowed, extra smooth. Enjoy responsibly. Not for sale to persons under the age of 18. There are people in our community whose helping hands always brighten the day. Caring, selfless, and always there when you need them. Just like Grandpa's fast-acting pain relief that you can always trust. It's ready to work in 10 seconds for backache, muscle ache, toothache, or headache. So that you can get through your day. Grandpa, trusted for over 100 years. The Macro Mega Dishwasher Sale. Exclusive weekly deals on all dishwashers. Save a massive 500 Rand on the AEG Stainless Steel Dishwasher. Now only 4999. Save a mega 500 Rand on the eco efficient Samsung Stainless Steel Dishwasher. Now only 5999. Join the dishwasher revolution. Hello, baby. Pero que abre que se va na su clip. Mi popi ile. Abre a vos a fe. Ya. Eh, corra ya gul. Abre a vos a que donde le pit. Ya ahorra ya man. Ya, baby. Mi le garo que abre a pit. Mi tu eres pizza. Buen abre a vos a fe. Es, que abona se lo mo. Mara y que penale. Eh, penalti. Uh, Highlands Park, Super Sport United, the MTNA final. That's what's happening on Saturday. We're bringing it to you at 6 o'clock. Make sure you're with us. The two coaches will be on Sport at 10 on Wednesday night. So make sure you tune in to hear their thoughts on the big final. Should be fascinating. Owen Dagama as well as Kaitano Tembu. Thank you, gentlemen, for uh, your input and your fighting and your debating and enlightening South Africans on what happened in the APSA Premiership. I'm Thomas Mlambo, and this has been Soccer Zone for sure. Good night.